Hello everyone, happy Tuesday, and welcome to Fantasy Flight Interactive Stream for the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. I am your host, as always, Luke, the community manager here at Fantasy Flight Interactive. Um, and I've got kind of something special for you today. We're going to be uh, revealing a new hero. Um, last week, if you didn't join us, we revealed uh, Legolas on stream, a tactics hero. Um, who could do some interesting things with combat, dealt one damage on upkeep, had ranged, um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty combat focused. Eowyn is a spirit hero, um, so she's a little bit more focused on the objectives, but the way that she interacts with them is actually, um, cares about combat. So, um, you're gonna see some similarities to, uh, uh, the core set Eowyn that you see in the, uh, in the tabletop game. Um, you're gonna see some, we, we've kind of mashed her up between her Flame of the West iteration and her, um, and her core set iteration to, uh, to create a, an all new Eowyn that fits within this game a little bit better. Um, and I've built kind of a spicy deck for it today too, so, uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, and thanks for joining us as always, and as always, everything that you're gonna be seeing today is a work in progress. Um, nothing is final and, uh, subject to licensors and partners, uh, discretion, so you're gonna keep on seeing things change. The purpose of this stream is to just kind of give you guys some, uh, idea of where we're at with the game, where it's going to be developing, and how we're gonna continue on making it, uh, making it, um, you know, better as we, uh, as we continue through development, um, getting ready for that quarter one 2018, uh, early access launch. Um, I know we had some, uh, there was a little bit of talk, a little bit of chatter on the, uh, on the chats and Discord. Um, and some other places about uh, release date because we had uh, we had a mistake coming from the publisher where we um, uh, we had a, a tweet go out and I, I believe a Facebook uh, Facebook post as well. So apologies already to that. Um, you know we're not trying to we're not trying to trick you guys or do anything like that. There's a bit of a miscommunication internally about uh, about launch dates, but we um yeah we're still on track for the uh, that same uh, that same launch window that we uh, we mentioned on stream with Tim a couple weeks ago so again sorry about that folks um, so let's uh, let's jump in right now and uh, and talk a little bit about uh, what we're gonna be doing for Eowyn so um, I'm not going to we'll show her right away once we uh, once we jump in um, I'm not gonna go into the deck builder first because uh, I've actually been so this deck has been getting really strong. It's been doing really well against the main objectives, and it's been doing really well in these smaller locations. Um, but I have been having quite a bit of issues with um, finishing off bosses, so I'm not sure if we are going to complete this quest on our first time through. So I was thinking, what we could do is we can uh, see where we get, jump back out, take a look at the deck builder, see if we can uh, build the deck a little bit differently and then maybe jump back in if we have enough time today. We're going to go till about 140 again, as we always do, um, and go from there. So uh, let's jump in and see where we can get. We're going to go do quest two, because um, I think there's some interesting interactions with um, Eowyn, especially with this deck. So once you see your ability, you'll know why I built the deck this way, but this is kind of a uh, a con control deck that focuses on uh, that focuses a little bit more on swarming the board than anything else. You're not going to see a lot of attachments within this deck, so uh, let's jump in. I've been uh, playing this all morning, getting ready for the stream, trying to figure out where we can, uh, how we can position Eowyn. Um, if you didn't notice, we, uh, if you weren't with us on Twitter, we had a poll to decide which hero we would be revealing this week, and we're going to do the same thing next week. Um, for a long time, it looked like Sam was going to win that poll, and then we had a last-minute boost to Eowyn on, uh, on Monday morning, and she ended up winning the poll. Pretty handily. Your party camps for the night. So uh, we've done this quest a couple of times on stream. Um, it's been a while though. We've been focusing more on quest three and four. We're going back to basics with quest two, um, and in this one we are only going to have access to one hero for the beginning, and then we're going to jump into uh, having other heroes as if we can move forward past those first two locations. You're also going to see a couple of art change. You see, this is new art for self-preservation. I don't think we talked about this yet. Um, We've definitely shown Gone Very Gone, the rest of these cards, and this is going to be the only new one we have in our opening hand here. Um, you're going to get the Escort within Eowyn's Hero Pack. Uh, it's a pretty interesting card. It's got the Revenge keyword, which means that uh, when it is defeated, it tr its ability triggers. Um, and as a one cost for a, just a one stat line, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of on the lower side of the power curve, but then that ability is so powerful, you get to ready a character when it's going to die. Um, yes, this is a Spirit Hero, though we are using the Tactics Art from the Tabletop uh, from the tabletop game for this card. So I think we are going to keep Escort. We're going to get rid of Gandalf. Get rid of Gonbury. And uh, I think the Lookout 2 might just be too expensive. 
yeah, there's a couple of changes to the cards, and that's going to keep on happening. Um, the art itself, too. And you see we have a new card that we, uh, we drew in our opening hand here, and we can take a look at it in just a second. I'm actually going to take... Well, I'm going to take Lorian's Wealth still. Oop, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to take Eowyn as our, uh, as our one hero, and we're going to take a look at her real quick. So we've got uh, our Find Our Friends as our objective. All right, so now let's take a look at Eowyn before we move on here. All right, so Eowyn is going to gain two willpower after the first friendly character is defeated every round. She's at nine threat, one attack, two uh, two willpower, and nine health. So she's more about um, she is more about questing than anything else. However, because of her ability, you are going to want to uh, you are going to want to have a lot of allies in your deck in order to uh, keep that triggering, keep on using those cards. So in order to maximize that value, I also made a uh, a lore deck here that can draw cards and keep that flow, that steady flow of allies playing. Um, so actually, if we can get her ability to trigger, she will be powerful enough to finish the quest in a single activation. Um, pretty powerful. But uh, in order to do that, we're actually we're also going to need to get past these spiders. Um, so let's take a look at our hand real quick. Uh, we already talked about Escort being one of the new cards. The other card that comes in the A1 pack that you're going to see within this deck is Houses of Healing. So a lot of people have re requested a... Uh, an ability like this, and I've had to keep it under my uh, my metaphorical hat that we have this built into the uh, into the hero pack here. Houses of Healing is going to take a hero that has been defeated already within this uh, within this quest and return it to play exhausted for a cost of five. So obviously this is a big, huge, splashy effect. This is the kind of thing that really gets brewers uh, minds going when they start looking at, at different decks and different strategies that they can take. Um, but uh, where we are at with this is that um, it, it can be a little bit difficult to get it into a place where you have enough resources to play it. Um, so we're going to try to see if we can use it within the game and uh, use it to maximum advantage once we have a couple more heroes in play. So uh, here we are. So no, yep, it's just um, for people asking in the chat, yeah, she gets the plus two after the first friendly character is defeated every round. So you can only trigger it once currently. So let's jump in here. We will play the. We could play the Athelion Lookout. We could also, if we play the Escort, send it in. That's one, two, three, four. So we'll kill it in one round. I don't think we're going to take a big splashy turn this round. We're just going to build our resources as we can and get the Athelion Lookout. See that bounce that we have on the characters now too when we play them. Um, we've con we're continuing to make some cosmetic changes to make the game feel a little bit more organic. That's the new art for Mithrander's advice. We've got a Warden in our hand. And we can end our planning phase. So that will increase her willpower, but we have to uh, take down the Sentinel before we can move on. Draw some cards. Um, this is an update of Horseback Archer. So previously the card was called Horseback Archer. It was a 2-2 with ranged. Uh, we have changed the name and uh, changed the art as well to try to bring the flavor a little bit more in line with Tolkien instead of uh, before it felt a little bit too generic fantasy. So we've uh, we've changed the card here as well um, and updated that. Let's play out a guard of the Citadel, see if we can have him trade with the Sentinel. Two Sentinels, though, that's pretty difficult. We'll play another Spear Thrower. And we will end our planning phase. Clear this out. No living man Set this down to one. So this is one of the problems with this deck. If you get a bunch of sentinels, you're going to have some trouble getting through. Let's, um... Alright, we'll play out the escort. That way we can get two activations off Aeon and guarantee that we'll get through here. We might lose her this... Oh, no. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll have the Escort take out the uh, the spider before it activates. And uh, we're actually going to put a self-preservation on her because she's taking quite a bit of damage here already. Yeah, this round has been very difficult so far. So we're not going to get our activation off of him, unfortunately. 
which means that we won't be able to go forward. Man, this has been a tough. Uh, this has been a tough location. Of course, this wasn't going this way once before we were uh, before we were on stream. But that's all right. We were we are still going to make it out in one piece at least, or not. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Wow. That is uh, that is unfortunate. Let's uh, see if we get anything good. Well, we can heal with this at least. Won't really get us out of this spot though. Oh, well, there's Tom. Tom would actually be enough to get us out of this. Uh, let's just exhaust the spider and move on to our next round here. Oof. This has been tough. We'll jump back in if we, uh, if we are unable to, uh, make it past this here. We'll just do it one more time. Oops. Let's see what we've got. Alright, Tom. Do what you do. So when Tom arrives, he's able to defeat a, uh, an enemy right here. And, uh, we will move on now. Work towards the location. Tom himself has three threats, so, uh, he's actually able to do quite a bit to, uh, move past this, uh, this first location. Fortunately, we'll grab a resource. Sauron will pass. Tom will leave because of the fleeting, and we'll be able to move on with this round. Man, this has been a, this has been a tough one. Heal up, go into planning. We will play out a warden here to get another character in play. Uh, we are currently at 35 threat for those wondering. Um, a1 starting is 9, um, and our team overall would be, uh, I believe, 28 then. 28 or 29, I'm not sure about our threat. I think maybe maybe Aragorn's 11, but uh, we will double check. So now we're able to travel finally. Um, we're going to lose our, uh, our warden first, and we'll move on to the next location here. Searching through the night, you find your friends being held within a dark glade, surrounded by Thanks, Pete. Yep, spiders. I believe Aragorn is 11. I think you are correct. Okay. So this is the opportunity we have to rescue our friends, if we can survive here. Like I said, this has been a uh, pretty tough first couple, uh, first couple rounds for us. Um, and this hand is currently not helping much. Let's play out a wandering took here. We'll have him exhaust the uh, the spider here, our hive guardian. We lose him. We'll play out watchful peace. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that so I could gand off next round. Let's see what we draw. Two uh, two houses of healing in our opening hand is a little bit too powerful here. Oh yep, I've got the. Uh, the overlay is on the wrong side here. Let me uh, sl flip that real quick for you guys. We'll remove our overlay. I believe this is the correct one. Yep. There we go. That better? That way you guys can uh, take a look at Sauron's resources. Heal up uh, Eowyn. Watchful Peace is going to reduce your threat by two when you play it. Here's Watchful Peace. Oh, lo lose it by three, excuse me. Um, yeah, I believe it was originally two at one cost, and then we up the cost and the uh, up the effect as well. I don't think we're gonna make it with this hand, folks. I will smite you if you touch him. Oh, let me readjust my uh. My overlay here because I am um, there we go I was missing an eye we will move into our planning play out the spear thrower I guess we'll raise our ally. Sorry, guys, that I haven't been engaging with chat so much. Um, I'll be able to answer some questions in a second here. I'm trying to make sure that I can get out of this spot, um, <laughs> which is being more difficult than I was expecting it to be today. We'll, uh, we might have to just hop back in a second here. Yeah, because we're, we're going to lose them, and the exhaustion on there is uh, 
is going to be a problem. I don't think we're going to be able to make it past this currently. Yeah, this has been a uh, a pretty tough uh, a pretty tough hand we've been dealt here. Let's have Gandalf uh, come into play. So I, there's a reason to take out the hammer horns. We can also drop the guard down to one. I'm gonna take out the hammer horns because I'm just gonna have Gandalf crash into the uh, into the guard there. End our planning phase. Alright, Gandalf, take him down. Lose that, and that'll up this to four, which means that we will get out of it. Okay, so Gandalf plus Tom might have been enough for us to get out of that 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 uh, rough draw in the beginning there. But see, this is kind of the balance with uh, playing a card like uh, playing a card like Houses of Healing. If you run into a draw from Sauron, that means that you need a constant source of like early game interaction. You're going to have a lot of problems if you have these uh, really expensive uh, events in your hand. So uh, we are able to move up forward finally after all that, and we can travel on. You've managed to cut your companions loose. All right. So we've got another objective here. Yeah, hammer horns. Sorry, guys. Uh, I believe I was saying hammer horns there. Heal up three resources not quite enough even with gaining strength to play houses but we don't have any dead allies right now um ungolian's brood is a very powerful card a four cost three six that gives every other spider plus one health at the end of every round so we are gonna have to deal with this guard no matter what um if we leave it on the board for a turn we are going to have trouble because of this ungolian's brood let's see what we got we'll watch full piece here I'm going to gain strength and self-preservation to get it on Aragorn here, just in case we lose Arwen in some of the, this combat. Um, but with no ways to increase our uh, our attack, I think we're going to have some trouble here. I serve no man. Get in there. Yeah, so it's going to survive a round, so we're going to have to use Aragorn to take out the uh, the guard here. Heal up. And caregiver. You need not worry about anything. We will heal up Eowyn real quick. And we will end our planning phase. Alright, Aragorn, take him down. And with that, the willpower on Aowen will increase. We will use it to work toward the objective. Uh, we will ready up Aragorn, move it down to two, and we will end our adventuring phase here. We'll have Arwen heal herself. Forest spider comes into play. Hmm, that's a lot of spiders, but uh, we'll be able to clear the objective before we have to engage with any of them. And since they don't have pursuit, um, it's fine leaving them on the table. We're still at 37 threat. Sauron's holding on to two resources. Not sure what he might be playing here. We'll play out the guard real quick. End our planning phase. And we'll clear the objective to move on to the next location. So... Despite what I thought was going to happen there, we actually did at least end up making it to the boss here. We'll travel. We'll see if we can make it past. Like I said, even on my good games, I was having trouble defeating uh, Ungolian Spawn here because uh, we've made some, I believe, some changes since the last time we've done this, uh, this block of the location, and man, is it brutal. We, uh... There are a lot of Sentinels that come into play, and as you saw, this deck has uh, has some trouble right now dealing with Sentinels. So uh, we'll we'll see how we do for this first one. Houses of Healing, hopefully now in the late game, is probably the best time to use it. Uh, maybe we can uh, basically heal up Aragorn for full um, after he's after he's taken out. 
Uh, excuse me, guard. I keep saying sentinel still. Um, we'll go over all the uh, all the new cards that we revealed um, in the uh, in the deck builder briefly after we uh, after we finish here. Uh, this is new art and a new title for this card. Um, Greedy fingers destroys a random hero attachment. I think bel I, before um, it was uh, some kind of shot. Um, we've changed the art. We've changed the flavor of the card to kind of bring it more in line with what we think the um, the ability is doing. And we will uh, confirm. Um, Yes, uh, enemies attacking once you travel is intentional, so if you have unexhausted enemies on the board, they are going to get their last attack before you leave. Um, that is in the design right now. Uh, Sorn's at zero resources, no reason to play the Took, so we will end our planning phase. Devoured, that's correct, Pete, thank you. So, um, Pete, I think you're the one uh, running that, uh, that spreadsheet, so you're going to have to update with some of, these, uh, some of these art changes and some of these title changes that we've made. Um, Let's uh, go after the biggest guy that we can. So Eowyn's down, which means that we can Houses of Healing. Um, I'm going to exhaust another enemy first. Uh, Sauron's going to pass here. I'm just going to Houses then. You can see how this card works. We get to choose the uh, hero in our discard pile. Since there's only one, we pick Arwen. And we get her back in Exhausted. And we will end our adventuring phase. Uh, we are currently at 40 right now um, for threat, which is not great, but we are in the last location, so uh, that is uh, that is something of a non-threat right now, if you will. Uh, we'll heal up Eowyn. Oh, another spider. Man, this has been a very, very difficult one. Um, yeah, I see some discussion in the chat about threat. Um, how threat reduction works, um, how necessary it is. Uh, it's interesting, right? Because uh, right now, basically, threat determines things like uh, if the game's going to end, and it also determines some part of your end game score. So playing a card like uh, Watchful Peace kind of feels like you're paying resources and a card in order to get a better score, right? Um, the role of threat is something that we are thinking about right now in the game, um, how we can better represent threat. Um, so we are going to uh, continue updating that as... Uh, as we make changes to the game, maybe you guys will see something pretty soon about why uh, why you might want to reduce your threat within the uh, within the game as you're playing and how it might affect the board itself. We'll play out the escort. Um, the problem with this card is that you definitely want to uh, make sure you activate one of your heroes before uh, before it can be attacked, so that you can get the most out of its revenge ability. So we are probably going to activate Aragorn first here. Um, again, Sauron's at full resources. If we keep our resources right now and don't use any of them we'll have enough for houses um, so we'll potentially be able to crash in with Aragorn and it'll be okay um, you know if Sauron piles onto him it would be alright we probably don't want to lose Eowyn because she has her attachment on her um, we want to maximize activations off Aragorn so we're gonna try to houses him back this turn I think is probably our plan so let's give that a shot Yeah, um, Quad, I think maybe we just got, like, a really bad draw from Sauron here, because I was not having this much difficulty with it before. Um, but that's something that, you know, that's gonna happen. Let's end our adventuring phase. Oh, no, <laughs> let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's attack with Aragorn here. Okay, so you see the revenge goes off now, because he's about to be attacked for lethal, so we'll, uh, we'll ready up Aragorn a second time. We're going to clear off one of these hatchlings. Yep, so he's down. Poisoned by spiders means that we are not going to uh, be able to ready up Arwen on the next upkeep. Which is pretty brutal. Yeah, um, we've had some glowing for Quadis. You're asking about the, the glowing. We've had some issue with um, random glowing as a bug uh, right now. Uh, that's something we're going to get fixed, though. That's why she's uh, currently glowing. Um, it's no kind of special new ability or anything attached to or anything like that. Mirkwood Flock. Let's see. Do we bring in Aragorn now, or do we wait till adventuring? I think either way, our heroes are going to be attacked. I mean, he's going to be exhausted, so the only thing it really does is take some damage away from them. 
because he might get attacked first. Um, so let's do it. Let's bring back Aragorn and end our planning phase. Hopefully that logic checks out with you guys too. Um, basically it's the more heroes, the less of a chance that one of them takes lethal like that. Um, but of course in practice it didn't happen. It looks like we're about to lose Eowyn too. Yep. So it's Aragorn against the world. I think with this many, uh, with this many guards there's no way we could do it. Uh, if we sneak attack in Tom or Gandalf then we might have a chance because we can place the damage on Spawn or we can take out one of the, the guards that way. Um... But direct damage might be actually one of the ways we could get around this. So, I'm going to draw cards first and see what we get off the top. Oh man, we only have three cards left in our deck too. We have burnt through basically the whole thing there. Uh, let's draw... Let's sneak attack. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. That's unfortunate. I have never depleted my deck this low either. Um, you kind of see how these control decks sort of start to play. Um, obviously this is not functioning optimally. Um, not the way that I would like this deck to be playing. But um, you kind of see how it can go into the late game. Um, the fact that we've survived at all versus this draw is actually uh, it's pretty cool. Here's something else that I've noticed with this deck. Um, you see how all, almost all of these enemies are currently uh, down to one? Um, so if we had, theoretically if we had... Um, if we were to have Legolas within the deck somewhere, uh, we might be having a little bit more luck uh, because he'd be able to take out these enemies that are dropping down so low. Um, but I just don't know who you take out for and Maybe you just take out leadership entirely and make it a tactic spirit lore deck and, and go for it that way. Um, either way, it looks like we are done here. And we will end our planning phase. And, uh, yeah, we don't have any attacks here, so uh, we will just end the... Uh, end the quest like that. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I wasn't expecting to, uh, to lose just like that. Yeah, so, uh, once you run out of cards, um, you just keep on playing. There's no, there's playing without draw. Usually, you're going to lose by threat. Um, like there, we had some threat reduction in play and some other things, so we didn't. Um, but usually, that's how the game's going to end up playing out, uh, when you run out of cards. So, that was too bad. Um, let's see what we're gonna do here. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened with that, uh, only drawing one card. I'm not sure if it was because we were completely out of cards and the, uh, the deck counter just, uh, bugged out or why we only drew one off of Mithranders there, but I think it must have been something like that. Um, yeah. So let's jump into the deck builder and take a look at that, uh, and take a look at this, uh, this deck. So, obviously there were some, uh, some decisions made there. Some people are mentioning how Watchful Peace pretty early in the game, um, we uh, we weren't really drawing the cards that we needed, which are early allies um, in that early game. Instead, we got those two uh, the two houses of healings, which kind of slowed us down. Instead of being able to do anything like that, um, we had we were just kind of uh, it just kind of sat in our hand. We had a very expensive event that we couldn't uh, we just couldn't play. Um, so maybe it's worth shaving one of those and just moving down to one copy of it, even though it is a pretty powerful effect. Maybe our deck just can't handle having two in there. Um, I was previously playing Woodland Courier within this deck as a way to apply progress, but like I said, I was having more trouble with, um, I was having more trouble with, uh, allies, well, I mean, excuse me, with bosses, um, than I was with, uh, objectives, so I don't think that that's necessary. Um, we are not playing a lot of spirit cards within this deck right now. Um, it's currently mostly just leadership and lore, uh, with a couple, just a splash there. Um, it's really more about building around Aeowyn. Uh, so let's see how we can advise this. I'm going to take a look really quick at uh, at the chat and see if I can catch up to some of these questions we've got here. Um, Quad is questioning about hero packs. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. So are you going to get a legendary card for whatever that sphere is? Um, that's the case with uh, Legolas, and that's the case with Eowyn. I'm not sure if that is the case uh, with some of the other allies that we've got in play. I mean, with some of the other hero uh Hero cards. So one of the other hero pack cards that you're going to get with Aowen is Sterner Than Steel here, um, where each character gets plus one to their willpower permanently. That's a legendary event. Um, it's kind of similar to Necromancer's Reach, um, which is a, uh, a card that Sauron can play and give plus, two, plus one attack to all of his allies. Um, Sterner Than Steel, however, is going to increase all of your character's willpowers, which is a pretty powerful effect for three. I haven't been able to use it yet. Um, it's uh, 
it's a spirit level two card um so i haven't built a deck with eowyn and uh presumably frodo would be the other one that you pair him with um i haven't built the deck with them yet to see how this works um but perhaps in the future we'll be able to try to get sterner than steel working and do something powerful with that let's see what else we've got here um, Shield of Rohan is another one of the new cards here in uh, the Eowyn pack. I've got them written down here so we can uh, we can go through them. We already saw Escort and we already saw Houses, but we'll take another look at them real quick after this. Um, so Shield of Rohan gives you plus two health and stalwart. So this is just kind of a new take on uh, Round Shield over here, um, which gives a character block. Instead, this is going to actually increase their health stat and give them stalwart. So it plays around with a different keyword um, and it increases their defense by giving them more overall health instead of preventing the damage that they take. Um, so, you know, there's decks where you definitely would want four shields, in which you would play both Shield of Rohan and Round Shield. Um, there's decks that Shield of Rohan is probably going to do better in. Um, I would say decks with Arwen, you would probably want Shield of Rohan, because that way you can always, uh, you can always heal up. Um, you don't mind them taking damage that way. Um, but decks where maybe you don't have as much healing, you're probably going to, going to move toward Round Shield instead. Um, let's see what else we've got. Houses of Healing, which we saw uh, in the uh, in the game today, which kind of <laughs> sat in our hand. Um, Houses of Healing is a five-cost event that allows you to take a hero from your discard pile and put it into play exhausted. Um, so we saw it used. We kind of saw that if you don't have already some kind of advantage on the board, it can be kind of hard to come back with this card. Um, but having one copy in the deck still seems pretty good. Uh, I am going to remove one of them right now. Um, you can see also that we have... Uh, we are working on sorting the uh, the deck list here, so we've got um, we have cards that are sorted by what sphere they belong to, and then also uh, by their cost. So uh, that is something that we have added within the uh, the deck builder to kind of make lists a little bit easier to parse and a little bit easier to uh, understand when you are putting them together. Take out of houses. Hmm. So yeah, I'm also tempted to try building the deck um, Lore Spirit Tactics with Legolas at some point, or even just uh, just Gimli if we wanted. Um, I am also going to take out the two Watchful Pieces. Um, I had a Secret Paths in there, but like I said, that wasn't really useful. Um, because we only have two one-attack heroes, we're kind of losing out on attack power. Uh, I'm going to put Starbrooch in, because uh, we have healing, we have ways of getting our cards back. Um, so... Uh, Having a copy of Starbrooch in there that can uh, give our character Surge, get two activations off of, like, say, Aragorn and kind of just buff him up, um, that could be really powerful. So let's do that. Um, let's take a look at what else we can do within the deck here. We could uh, put in our two Woodland Couriers and see how it goes instead. We have two slots open right now. Favor the Lady is actually kind of interesting, right? Like, we could... Uh, we get favor in there, and then characters other than Eowyn can work toward the objective. Maybe that's correct. The other one would be advanced warning instead. I don't know. What do you all think? Hmm. I'm thinking that maybe I'm just going to try... See, advanced warning doesn't help with the sentinels all that much, but granted, neither does favor of the lady. I think I'm going to throw an advance warning and just go from there um maybe this deck will have a little bit more uh have a little bit more legs because of that you see we're playing two gandalf one tom which i think is correct for this build um if you unlock another tom obviously you can split the difference differently but i kind of find that having more than three heroes within this cost range um can be difficult warden's a bit of a, an exception because you know well, along with gaining strength um you know warden stats are pretty good we could we could theoretically cut a warden and put in another tom um i think we're just gonna leave it like this right now though so um let's jump in real quick yeah revenge does mean that it triggers when it dies and uh good eye vv yes yeah, so Th frodo does in fact currently have seven uh seven willpower uh, excuse me seven health and uh he's at seven threat too um we made this buff after kind of seeing uh, him, playing around with him, playtesting him a bit. Um, we kind of came to a consensus that maybe we should try him at a little bit more health. Uh, whether or not that is a change that we keep within the game um, is going to uh, is going to determine on if we think this is too strong or uh, anything like that. We kind of saw him being used to uh, pretty effectively on Thursday's stream. 
um, but he faltered a little bit on Tuesdays, if I remember correctly. So we are uh, continuing to take a look at this. So let's uh, let's jump back out. Uh, I'm going to try that one more time. We have a little bit of time here. Um, so I'm going to try that uh, that second quest one more time and see how it goes. We'll see if those changes make any difference or if we have the same problem that we had previously. Having traveled deep into Mirkwood on the mission to find... We'll keep the two gaining strengths. Get some allies. Get some ways to draw cards. And we will again choose Aeolin. We'll put, um... We will put our uh, escort out into play here. Alright. That doesn't have any effect on the board, fortunately. We'll put our escort into play here um, we could put caregiver out into play to make sure that we progress in this location I'm gonna draw cards first and see if we get anything that's a bit more appealing such as gone very gone um, he's gonna help out quite a bit so let's get him into play and we'll be able to clear this uh, this objective in this turn um, Sauron's sitting on one resource here I was having some trouble with this earlier there we go and have gone very finish it off if we can get it to work. There we go. And we will travel. So that's uh, clearing in one uh, in one go. We've got 30 threat. Sarn's at one resource. Um, kind of wasted it with that uh, that event card there, fortunately. So we are able to move on to this next location here. Um, had he played an, uh, an enemy, we could have uh, thrown our escort into it. Um, theoretically, and readied up Eowyn, gotten two activations out of her. Sauron plays out a treachery card. Let's uh, play Advance Warning. And let's play the Spear Thrower. No living man am I. Oh, looks like we are going to lose our Escort here. We get to activate Aowen again because of that. Finish them off. Well, actually, I'm okay with trading our Gonbury away in order to clear this objective. Get our heroes back. And we can travel. So this is going a little bit better than what how we uh, how it was going last time. <laughs> a little bit speedier and the deck's working a little bit better for ourselves. But the spiders are determined to recapture. And we will jump into the location. And we will heal up Eowyn here. Yeah, Horseback Archer was changed, Phoebe. So um, we changed that based on flavor. Um, we wanted to make the card a little bit more in line with tokens. So uh, we changed the art. We changed the uh, the card itself. We might bring in um, Horseback Archer at some point. Um, but this is kind of where we're at for this course. So we're making sure the cards feel a little bit, uh, a little bit more in line. All right. Let's go ahead and play the Athelion Lookout. Attack here. He stand alone. Clear out this sentinel enemy. We've got uh, six health no we gotta defeat here. And we will take down here. Um, I think I'm gonna gain strength and play on an advance warning here. Make sure that these events get out of our hand and don't rot too long. Gaining Strength can be a powerful card to play, keeping your hand to play as a way to feint out a, an attack from Sauron, because it does count as an, uh, um, as an action. So if we do it during our adventuring phase, we can kind of uh, bait him into attacking before we attack. Um, but also the payoff there, of course, is that there are certain events that allow Sauron to discard all events from our hand uh, using Gaining Strength. Um, excuse me, using... Um, Treacherous Fog, I believe, is the card. Um, so if we keep our, our events in our hands for too long, they can get discarded before we get a chance to use them. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's uh, heal up with Arwen. Of 
quad. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, you mean um, so like after you travel and there after a quick time, like you uh, you get some kind of in-game reward. Is that kind of what you're talking about here? Or um, oh, so every time you travel, you get some kind of in-game thing. That's interesting. Um, you know, we've had some conversations about different things to make uh, make the progress within the quests feel uh, feel like you're moving up in a level and things like that. Um, and we're exploring different options with that, but that's that's definitely interesting. Um, not sure if that's something that we'll integrate. We're currently a 32 threat here with two th two resources from Sauron. He's got a couple of options here. We will attack with Aragorn here. Clear him out with the spear thrower. And we will work toward the objective. We can drop it to two. I think we should do that by readying up Aragorn. Um, so people are talking about changes from the, uh, the tabletop to the digital. Um, so the whole philosophy behind this is that we didn't want to do a one-for-one -one translation. Um, we wanted to make something that fit a little bit better within the digital space. Um, and so that's why you're going to see some differences within cards. Um, both titles, heroes, everything. You're going to see some differences from, uh, from the tabletop to this digital experience. Heal up Aragorn. Hunted. We're going to have to either discard an ally or gain one threat for each one in play. Um, I'm okay with just gaining one because we're at 34. We're doing all right here. We will end our planning phase. It would actually be a pretty good uh, pretty good idea to gaining strength here so that we can make sure we gand off next. Oh, we'll, we'll have enough anyway. Um, but if you were to play out uh, rescue the horses, we would lose our two resources. Fortunately, we're able to travel here and move on to this next location. Um Ah, Sauron's treachery goes off, so we're not going to ready up uh, Aragorn. I'm not sure how that works with traveling, if he's going to be ready on the next location or if he's going to be still exhausted because of that, uh, because of that card, so we'll see. We're in our final encounter. Catchling Spider plays out. Heal up Eowyn. So we'll have Gandalf take out the Hatchling Spider, and then we'll have him crash into the Giant Spider. See if we can put some damage on Ungoliant spawn. I am a servant of the secret fire. Yeah, thanks, Jobar. Um, we're pretty happy with where we're at. Um, we want to make sure it's a little bit more polished before we get it in people's hands. Um, but thank you. We'll end our uh, our planning phase here. Attack in with Gandalf. Fly, you fools. Ready up, Aragorn. He stand alone. Attack in. Put one more damage on the spider here so that one of our other uh, heroes can take him down. I'm sure we're going to see another hatchling here. Yeah, I would agree with that, Alex. I mean, I, we hope that there is room in your heart for both. That there's uh, room for both a, uh, the tabletop experience and the digital experience. We'll lose our, uh, our attachment that we had out on Aragorn here. Play out Warden. End our planning phase. Attack in. Oof. That hurts. Sauron passes. We'll heal up, uh, heal up Eowyn here. More spiders. Oof. I hear you, Quad. I, I, I hear you. Alright, we'll play out Guard of the Citadel here. 
heal up Aragorn. How may I that was an aggressive attack from the spawn. They're not going to be able to crash in any of our characters anymore. Maybe that'll be enough? Heal up. The Mirkwood Flock comes into play. We'll play out our escort. See if we can get an activation out of him. Attack in there. We'll ready up Aragorn with uh, escort. Oof. I don't think we have a chance here. Um, well, Houses of Healing back Aragorn, I think. I think we just end there. We can't afford to crash in again. 43 threat now. Too, a little too late from Starbrooch, I think. And we'll have uh, we'll have Arwen heal herself. Move into planning. King Spider comes into play. This might just be too much, I think. It's really unfortunate too, getting him down to one. Um, there are a couple of ways to deal one damage within the game, as you've seen, um, but they are basically all in tactics. So if we draw the second Gandalf. Um, we cannot, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, people are asking why the hatchlings are getting, uh, guard. Um, it's because of Ungolian Spawn's text, it, text, it gives hatchling spider, um, plus one attacking guard when they come into play, and every upkeep it gives you another hatchling spider, so those aren't being played by Sauron, those are coming into play because of Ungolian Spawn's ability. Um, now what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we could draw the second Gandalf, which would get us out of it, um, within two turns, or we could sneak attack in one of the tactics heroes that deals one excuse me one of the tactics allies that deals one um i think those are our only ways of getting past all of these different uh these different guard enemies i, will smite you if you touch uh, I don't him. think we can attack here i think we just have to pass our adventuring phase yeah yeah this isn't gonna happen very unfortunate sauron passes here Hatchling Spider again. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, we'll just go digging. More Hummer Horns in play. Thanks, Joe Bar. Yeah, we are uh, we are excited that there is a community of people that are uh, as interested in the game as they are to keep watching us on stream and uh, keep interacting with us and giving us that feedback. Um, like I said, we really want to make this. This is our first chance. Oh, there's the first step. <laughs> Uh, this is our chance of making something great here, um, and we really want to make this one count. Okay, guys, cross your fingers. We have two possible things that we could sneak attack in here that will win us the game, and basically everything else will mean that we lose. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. They went this way. Uh, that's not what we were looking for at all. The tracker's going to give our character stealth. We saw this already within Legolas's... Uh, Hero pack, but unfortunately here uh, it is not what we are looking for, so we are not going to get it yet. <laughs> Someone in the chat says, here comes the Took. Yeah, I would have imagined that's what would happen to me. Um, but no, it's Sylvan Tracker. Um, not quite the Took, but close enough. Uh, like I said, this, uh, this kind of quest kind of... Uh, Legolas does pretty well usually in this quest because he... Um, He's able to ping off, ping down the enemies as they continue to uh, swarm the board. Um, but here we are not having any of that kind of luck because we have so many, so many guards to get through here. And that's the game, since we have hit 51 threat. Um, we are oh. <laughs> 
Uh, so that's actually going to be the end of it. It looks like we had a, uh, a missing executable there for our, uh, for our end game. Um, so yeah, as always, we are showing the cards that are going to be in early access. Um, there is going to be more coming into play uh, once we go into full release, um, but these are cards that are going to be available within that early access period. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining us today. Sorry that we couldn't get through that quest. We had a bit of uh, difficulty with this, uh, with this deck, but hopefully we'll be able to revise something and bring something to the table a little bit more powerful for Thursday. Um, I think that Eowyn for sure needs... Uh, Need some kind of tactics hero to be with because of her uh, her ally ability. That control deck was a little bit too slow. Um, and uh, as you can see within this early access period, a lot of these quests are a little bit more combat heavy, but we're hoping to expand the uh, the ecosystem a little bit more. Um, you kind of saw a quest heavy quest. Yeah, that sounds about right. A quest heavy quest um, within uh, within the game on Thursday's stream when we were playing with Frodo. Frodo you kind of saw how a uh, how a willpower heavy deck is able to succeed. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Hopefully we can show, um, we can show some other quests on Thursday. Maybe we'll jump into that before we show the new deck, um, that'll be building for that stream as well. Um, yeah, so absolutely. Uh, we will have, uh, Faramir or Sam on stream on Tuesday, depending on who wins the poll. Um, another one of the early access, uh, hero packs. We are going to be, uh, opening those up, taking a look at the cards and building with them. That's for next Tuesday. Um, so if you want to, uh, if you want to vote on which one of those heroes you would prefer to see first, um, you can go ahead and vote on the poll that will go up on this Friday. Uh, but based on that, we will build a deck. We will uh, build around that character's sphere, that character's ability, and kind of show off some of their uh, some of their talents and tactics. Um, so yeah, you can vote on those. Sam was in a pretty healthy lead uh, when we were uh, when we had the poll going. Um, for last week, um, an Eowyn won in a last-minute surge. So maybe we'll see Sam, or who knows? Maybe the Faramir fans are going to come out and uh, come out in waves, and we'll see more from him. Um, so yeah, for sure, folks. Uh, we will be able to talk a little bit more about some other changes as well on Thursday. Uh, we'll show you some new cards, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, talk a little bit about how best to build with Eowyn. So I'm going to need your help within that stream. Um, if you have any feedback, as always, please. Please let us know within the Steam community on the forums. We have a lot of people talking over there. Um, we've been having some really great conversations about some different topics over there uh, throughout the week, and uh, we will continue to have those conversations. You can join us on Twitter at twitter.com slash FFI underscore games. Um, you can join us on facebook.com slash FFI games. You can join us here on twitch.tv um, slash FFI games. Um, you can find us on any of those places. Let us know. Get in contact with us. Let us know what you're thinking. Give us some feedback. Let us know... Uh, where you think uh, we should be headed for different cards, different strategies, if you think that there's something that uh, would help the game look visually a little bit better, um, give it a little bit more flair. Yeah, give us that feedback. We'd love to hear it, especially from you guys, you devoted players who are uh, either coming from the tabletop realm, video game realm, or maybe it's your first time uh, giving feedback on a card game like this. Uh, we want to hear back from everybody to make sure this game is as appealing to the wide audience as it can possibly be. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining us, especially the new... Fl the new um, the uh the new viewers that we had here um there's some people who i haven't seen before in the chat who are uh front faces here so thank you for joining us um and we will see you later have a good one bye bye